Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the I Don't Even Know podcast. I'm Em, I hope you all are doing well. Today, I'm going to be talking about The Summer I Turned Pretty, Season 2, Episode 6. And I just want to jump right in because I just finished the episode like 10 minutes ago. So I really want to jump right in. And of course, like I do, in all the episodes where I have in the last two or three i'm gonna start off talking about julia to get that done because i hate her you guys know this i hate her don't like talking about her so i just want to start off (laughs) talking about her to just get that over with and move on and talk about the disaster that that party was and i cannot wait to get into that so we're gonna start off with julia and she still is a piece of shit i mean i did not think that she was gonna change Especially about this episode, because she was awful last episode. It's like her saying, like, oh my gosh, I need the keys. Like, I sold the house. It was a good deal. Like, shut the fuck up. No. You don't need to do this. Like, I still don't get why she's not backing out yet. Like, yeah, okay. You can't really afford it. Like, I'm pretty sure she said that. But, okay, okay, but, like, still do something. Figure something out. And you could be a little nicer to the kids like the fact that she also convinced like the buyers to make a deal to let them rent out the house one week during the summer like okay i get that was a nice gesture and it was a nice offer it was nice for her to do but still that's not the same and i get why conrad didn't want to do it like they shouldn't have to rent out their house like yeah i know it's not really their house anymore because someone bought it but still it has been their house for years it is still their house in their heart and the fact that they have to like rent it to be able to be there to like hang out there during the summer i get it i get why conrad's mad i completely understand i would be mad at julia as well she's like annoyed the crap out of me like i get the gesture was nice it was nice of her to do that but still like she's a piece of shit she's garbage like even Sky was defending Jeremiah and Conrad, which I really appreciated that. I'm still not a big fan of Sky, but I really appreciate what they were doing. And the fact that they literally standing up to the mom or to their mom, telling them like, no, like you can't like I'm starting to like the house, please don't do this. And even like Sky said that you have a heart like a nice heart it's just like you don't let people see it like i honestly don't believe she has a heart i said this last episode i don't think she has a heart she's heartless like it really seems like it and i get where sky's coming from like she probably does have a heart but i haven't seen it so i'm not gonna believe it like still julia needs to get her act together i would like to like her i would that would be really nice because she's always popping up I would like I really hope I like her by the end of the season, but I doubt that will happen, especially with like, how everything's going. Like especially with the house. Like she's gonna lose her mind when she finds out about the party. Like, oh my gosh. Like just everything with Julia is just really pissing me off. I was happy though we did get the flashback to Christmas or as they call it shitmas. And I get why she's mad. But I still, like, don't feel bad for her. Like, I'm just so mad at her, I can't feel bad for her. It's like, I get, like, she's mad. But, like, Susanna's mom is, like, being a bitch to her, kind of, and saying awful things. And then, like, the dad likes Susanna more. But, like, okay, I get it, but they probably don't like you for a reason. Like some, I mean, some people are just mean and don't like people, but usually there is a reason. It's maybe the way you act around them. You know, it's like, she shouldn't have, like, left and then, like, gone mad at Susanna like that. I get, I get it, but then I also, like, shut up, like, go, just go away. I just need her gone. I really hope that we never have to see her again after this season. If she's in season three... I'm actually going to lose my mind because I cannot deal with her again. Every time she comes on the screen, 
I want to punch the screen. I literally am like, sitting there like, why am I watching this? It pisses me off so much. Like, I need her gone. I need her to get as far away f- from cousins as possible. Like, I'm sick of her. I'm, I was sick of her since, like, day one. Like, she showed up. I wanted her gone. It's just like, oh, my gosh. It's just, I hate, hate her. And I, you guys probably know this by now. It's, like, the worst thing ever. Like, I really... Oh, my God. She's... She's a pain. And I'm, I'm excited to see her mad next episode over, like, the house, like, being kind of demolished. And we will be seeing Laurel talking to her next episode. I think that's th- that scene because, of course, Belly called Laurel at the end. So I don't know how that's gonna sit with everyone i think they might be mad but i get why she did it she was well okay she was also drunk she was very drunk and really upset but that scene of her calling her and calling her mommy and saying like i need you like blah 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 that hurt me that like made me cry actually i wasn't expecting that to hurt me so much like i knew it was coming because of the book because she called her during the party when she was drunk like some stuff happened like i knew it was gonna happen but like it hurt it hurt me like too much way too much it was such a disaster are you kidding like that whole party was a disaster like i mean don't get me wrong i lived for it i loved it i had the best time but it was so it didn't really go well like there were fights Actually, there were a ton of fights. Oh my gosh, it was like so bad. And of course, we're gonna dub into the party now because I want. And we'll talk about like other things that happened at the episode leading up to the party when I talk about specific things. But first thing, Sky and Cam. I said this last episode. Not a fan. I'm still not a fan. I really want to like them. I really do. But I, I can't. I don't know. There's just something about them. I just really don't like them together. I just don't see any chemistry. I just I just don't see it. And I, I said this last episode. I thought they were going to kiss maybe this episode. And they did. But, like, I just... I don't... I don't see... Like, the peel. I mean, to be fair, I don't even know if anyone chips them. I haven't seen anything about them yet, so, like, I mean, I'm probably not the only one, and I really, I really want to know if anyone ships them, because if you do, I mean, go off, like, that's you, like, I won't judge, I, I just, I personally don't see they peel, um, so I really want to see how they do that, and if they'll ever get better, because, I mean, I, I would like to like them, and I said that last episode, I would like to like them, but I can't right now, because they're just not good, they're not good together. Like, I kind of thought it was cute when they asked, like, to kiss him. I kind of thought that was cute, like, that they were asking. But other than that, it wasn't good. Like, I think it's better to, like, well, sometimes, if you're friends and you, like, don't know if, like, the person likes you, I think it's better to ask if you can kiss them rather than like just doing it unless you if you like see vibes and you think like actually then yeah go for it but if you don't know you should ask so i thought it was nice that they asked i also thought it was cute that sky went to taylor for kissing advice because it was their first kiss i mean i need some friends when i'm in that place to help me when i am about to have my first kiss has not happened yet probably will never happen but best believe i will be going to my friends about that so i thought it was cute that sky went to them or taylor and then belly came along and i thought it was cute that they were talking to them about like what it should feel like or not be feel like be like and this guy was asking belly about um all the guys she kissed which was hard for me to hear because the way she's talking about jeremiah's kiss it made me want to die because i'm just i'm so not ready for that i'm like not mentally prepared to go through the jelly 
thing, and I know we're getting there. I mean, we've been having a lot, a lot of seeds with them, so I'm not ready. But I thought that was kind of cute. I'm, I'm starting to like Sky a bit more. Still not the biggest fan of them. But like, I don't hate them. Like, they're not that bad. I thought it was nice that Sky was being supportive of Cam and talking to him and also telling him to go on the boat and take the job like the boat's coming you gotta do it and i'm happy they said that to him because he he needed to hear that he needs to take the job like yeah i get he's worried about his mom and wants to be there for her but i think he should and i'm happy that sky kind of talked to him about it i thought it was really good and then yeah i don't know i'm still not here for sky in Cam, I really hope they change my mind, but I, I doubt they will. I don't know. I just, I really don't think I'll ever like them. Like, I don't know. I really hope they change my mind. I would like to like them. I said that. I would, but it's, just, it's not great. Not great. I mean, I thought it was kind of cute that they're friends. Like, I like their friendship. That's what I'll say. I like their friendship, but other than that, it's not that good. And I like how they were hanging out at the party together. They were kind of just chilling while everyone else got themselves into some shitty situations. I mean, so I like that. I just, I really liked almost like everything at the party. I mean, some of them hurt me, but I thought the scenes were really well done. And like, it was just, everyone looked great too. I mean, obviously, but they always look amazing. But they looked all look so good. It's like, Taylor and Belly were hitting different for me. Like, they looked so good. I mean, they always look fantastic. It's just, like, their outfits, Belly's hair, makeup. Oh, my gosh. Like, it was really cute. I really want Belly's pants. I need to know where she got those shorts. Like, I, I, I need those shorts. It was fun. I really liked it. And I liked how Taylor was helping Belly get ready and talking to her also just being a supportive best friend like telling her like earlier that she wouldn't go to camp without her like she didn't want to i thought that was really cute as well like just seeing taylor being like the supportive best friend is always really nice like per like i think it's really nice and i always love seeing it and so th that was great, and I really enjoyed that. She's just such a good friend, and I always say that, but she really is. It's, we're seeing such a good side of her right now. And just being so supportive, talking to her about everything, and just being there for her and making sure she's okay. And she is Team Jer, which is kind of an issue, because I'm not. But I get why she is, kind of. It's because she doesn't want belly to get hurt again because conrad hurt belly and she doesn't want that she wants her best friend like to be happy won't let anything happen to her i get that like i think if i was in that situation i might be the same just because i wouldn't want her to get hurt but then conrad wasn't trying to hurt belly he just was going through it so like i so i get it like so, like, I kind of wish she would talk to Conrad, and Conrad would explain himself to her, and then maybe she would switch sides, because, like, she's so in love with that man. I don't know. I think we'll have to see. I'm really hoping she'll switch eventually. But, like, I get it. I get why she's team Conrad, like, just the whole best friend, like, her, and her, him hurting her, and she just wants her to be happy, which I completely understand that. That's completely understandable. So I get that, I'm mad, I don't know. But, okay. So this is the part I've been waiting for. I'm going to talk about Steven and Taylor. Because I always leave... Oh my gosh, why did I forget for a second? Um, Jer, Belly, and then Belly and Conrad. Till the end. I always talk about them at the end. So we're going to talk about Steven and Taylor. And I'm so excited to talk about them. Because, oh my gosh. This episode made me love them even more, and I really did not know if that was possible. Like, they're insane. Their chemistry is so good. It's just like, oh my gosh. The way they were flirting, like, at the pool together, and, like, you could... I think everyone can tell, like, there's something going on with them. 
I think Sky could, even though she just kind of walked in. You could tell, like, something, something was going on. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, the way he remembers, like, the dance that her and Belly made Laurel and Stephen watch. Like, the way he remembered that, and he put that on the playlist for her because he wanted to do it with her. And then, like, when Milo, that dick ass, called 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 her and he and Steven interrupted and like hung up as he should I mean I hate Milo literally despise that man but don't know what Taylor ever saw in him like I support her but not with him like ew are you kidding like that was so cute and I loved that like they fight like they're a married couple they literally fight like an old married couple sometimes and I'm like so here for it because it's so cute it's just like it's insane how much i love them it's like it's literally not even funny like i've said this they've taken over my life they're like my favorite ship right now on this show of course because i lost belly and conrad but like still is i'm so grateful that they gave them to us now because i was like so against it because of shayla but like, now i'm so happy because like if i didn't ship them or if they didn't give us, give them to us, I don't know what I would be doing. I would be dying watching this. Like, it, don't get me wrong, it's still a good show without the ships, but the ships really make it good. And I'm already, like, going through it with Belly and Conrad. Like, I need some ship to, like, bring me joy. And they are that ship right now. Especially the, the party, doing the dance, like, together. That was the, the cutest thing ever. It was so so cute like the way he knew the choreography too and did it, like he made her do it with her it was so cute they fucking slayed that they did really well like steven is a dancer are you kidding like you saw him at the dead ball like he he is a performer i need more steven dancing st- scenes like that man can dance and gets really into it when he does so, like that was so cute and then like, after the way he was talking to her and, like, he was telling her that he liked her. I literally had a mental breakdown. Like, the way he wanted to be with her. And the way they were looking at each other. And that's the moment I knew, like, that she still has feelings for him. Like, the way she was staring at him, even though she had a boyfriend. She was, like, looking at him with so much love. And she literally almost kissed him. And then, of course that piece of shit milo showed up and ruined that moment at least we had some other ones thankfully but he ruined that i don't know why he had to show up like i'm happy he did so taylor could break up with him but he just embarrassed himself like so much are you like are you kidding like the way he said to taylor like this is for you or something and he fought like a weird ass kid who doesn't know how to fight like he was doing some full karate move like some really bad karate moves like like that weird spin kick thing and he didn't even hit him like what was that he looked like a kid trying to learn how to fight he looks like me fighting and that's not good because i cannot fight for the life of me i mean i've never tried to fight anyone but like i know i cannot fight i could never i'm just like trash at everything it's like he looked like me or like i think that's how i would look fighting and that's not good or at least the spin kick thing would probably be something i would try that was so embarrassing like, i felt like secondhand embarrassment for not for him for her he can embarrass himself all all he wants i really don't care don't like him but, like i was sitting there like oh my gosh taylor you really need to dump him like i don't want you to be with someone who tries to fight like that like I don't the you're the person you're with doesn't know how to need to know how to fight. They just don't. They need to know they should not do that. They should not look like a kid trying to learn karate when they fight. I'm sorry, unless you are a kid, but still, like, I don't even know how old he is. I'm pretty sure he's isn't he like an adult or something? He's like, I thought he was 18. I might be completely wrong, but you know, fuck that man. I'm so happy Taylor broke up with him because she deserves better. Like, not even just Steven, like, yeah, I want them to get together, but she deserves just, like, someone better. Like, even if 
I didn't ship her and Steven or they weren't going to get together and she was with Milo, I would still want them to break up because she can get someone so much better. Like, he doesn't care any about her enough and he doesn't know anything or he knows stuff about her, but just not enough. Like, you in a relationship, you should know, like, the pretty much the basics. Like, for example, the middle name. You should know your partner's middle name, I think. I mean, personally, I think you should. But, like, I've never been in a relationship, so I don't know. But, like, I think, I think that's the bare minimum to know that person's middle name. I mean, it might be a lot, but personally, I think it's, like, you should. And the fact that he didn't even know her middle name and even she said well, what's my middle name you like you don't know the way steven knew her middle name and like called after him saying what it was was so so cute and also thankfully that man can fight like he tackled the shit out of that out of milo like are you kidding okay thankfully he can fight and i loved during the fight scene like belly was trying to get him to stop it's <laughs> not steven Conrad and Jared were telling him to <laughs> beat his ass. Great. I love the supportive brothers. Like, I love them. But it's just, like, the fact that he knew her middle name and he remembered all this time was so, so cute. Like, it made me want to cry. It just brought me so much joy because they bring me so much joy right now. And I really hope they are official because they did kiss. And I literally screamed into my pillow because my mom was home, so I didn't want to scream too loud. So I did it, flipped out, had a breakdown, was like panicking. Like, oh my gosh, like what did I just witness? Like, I can't believe this actually just happened. Like, oh my gosh, I was freaking out. And so like, I hope that that means they're together now because, well, they kissed. And a lot of the times when a couple kisses in the show, like, they usually get together after that. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of concerned they're not going to get together. But I also think they will because Belly's supportive. And Belly tried to talk to her about it. And like, the way she talked to Taylor about it, you could tell, like, she's not against it. And, like, she seems happy about the situation. So, like, if Belly's happy, they should go for it. Cause even Taylor said she still likes him. I'm pretty sure she said she likes him. I mean, I might be completely wrong because i was freaking out but i'm pretty sure she said something like that that she liked him the kiss and everything so i'm hoping and praying that they're official next episode because i i need i need them they need i need them to save me from belly and jerry and i said the last episode but like i really need them to be together so i can like lose my mind and i said last episode that if um taylor's not ready like it's fine like she should take her time which i'm still like 100 percent for like if taylor is not ready because of what happened last summer whatever that was because i still don't remember she should not do it like she should stay single for a bit if she's not ready but i think she is because she like well first of all she kissed him and she wanted to but i'm pretty sure she said something about how she liked him so i think that she's fine I, i'm really hoping because there's just I want to see how they are as a couple, like, like what they act like and how different they are between Milo and Taylor. Like, I know it's going to be a pretty big difference, but I want to see the difference. I want to see what they're like as a couple. Like, I always like seeing couples I ship get together or, like, people I ship get together and then seeing how they're, they are as a couple and, and, like, seeing, like, what they do together. Like, hold hands do they kiss all the time like what do they do i like seeing that and i like knowing so i'm i'm really excited i i can't wait i'm so excited for next week for so many reasons but mostly because we're gonna see if they are official and i will literally lose my mind if they are and i'll literally lose my mind if they're not but if they're not official it's probably good for it's probably for good reasoning or reasons you know so like then i support but I really want them to be together. I really hope they are. Oh my gosh. I literally just love them so much. It's insane. I did not know that like season two was going to make me fall in love with, first of all, Taylor. I mean, I liked her in season one, but just not this much. And then fall in love with Steven and Taylor too. Like, bro, I was not expecting that. 
like, especially, like, fall this in love. Like, I'm so in love with them right now. And so in love with Taylor. Like, it's, it's, it's insane. Taylor, I think I said this already, or, like, last episode. Taylor is my favorite character right now from the show. One of my f- favorites, like, ever. Well, she's not actually, she's, okay, forget what I said about that. I don't think she's my, one of my favorite characters ever. But in the show, she is, like, my favorite. I just love her. I really hope they don't mess her up, like, her character up. I doubt they will because of how good she is right now, and I think they don't want to do that. But, like, I, if they do, I'm actually going to cry because I, I, like, I can't. I love her too much, and I need, I need her to stay good. I just love her, you know? Okay, but now is the disaster that I need to talk about that is... Valley and Jay are first. We're first going to talk about them, and then we're going to do Valley and Conrad, and I'm actually going to die talking about them because I'm not mentally prepared to just go through what I just witnessed. So, Belly and Jay were awful again this episode. Like, I've said that. They're not awful. It's just bad because I see them as best friends, and I think some of their scenes are cute, but I see them just as best friends. Like, nothing more. Nothing more. So, it's kind of rough for me to like watch them almost kiss and stuff because i'm like oh my gosh like no like i want belly to be happy but i want her to be happy with conrad and she won't be as happy with jara she is with conrad like that is the love of her life he will always be the love of her life she will never love anyone the way she loves conrad like are you kidding that was her first love that was her one true love And even if she can't, like, admit it right now, well, she can admit that he was her first love. But if he can't admit that she's still in love with him, I think she actually has admitted that, but if she can't admit that she will never love anyone the way she she loved him, and maybe she has admitted that, I just don't remember, I'm going to cry. Like, I need her to, like, realize it and say it. I said this, I think, I want Jared to be happy, just, I don't want them together, like, it's just so annoying, because I know they're gonna get together, I know it, but it's just, I don't want to go through that, I want, part of me kind of wants to go through that, just so I could, like, season three is exactly like the book, or almost exactly, because that book, killed me it was so good so good i was remember i didn't know anything so i was kind of just sitting there like what the hell am i reading and it was so good i enjoyed every second of it i'm pretty sure i finished in like three two or three days i'm pretty sure like it was so so good and i finished that series in like i think a week or a little bit more than a week like it was good and like i want them to get together just so like we can get that like that whole situation in the third season like i'm kind of here for that but other than that i don't because i don't want to see them like coupley like they're they're getting too close and i know they're gonna get together but it's just like i don't like it like the way that he picked her up and spun around first of all in front of conrad which was a bit annoying like you shouldn't have done that you know he's still in love with her i mean maybe he doesn't know but he should know that she she, not she he is still in love with her it's obvious it's obvious that he is and the fact that jerick like maybe hasn't realized that yet and is doing all the stuff in front of him like flirting with her like obviously flirting and I mean, she's kind of doing the same thing, but I think it's a little different with her because she's still kind of heartbroken about what happened. And Jer is his brother, and he should know. Like, I don't think he should be doing this. Like, he shouldn't. Like, they were talking at the party, and, like, flirting and stuff. And, like, I get we got, like, a lot of Bella and Conrad, but it wasn't good enough because all their scenes were really sad and made me want to kill myself like i don't know what they want me to do like jer is fine like he's not the worst person on the planet like she could be with a lot like somebody way worse but it's just i don't i don't want this i really don't and i'm so annoyed that it's happening it makes me want to die because they have 
some chemistry. I will admit that. Like, Bellinger, they have some chemistry. It's just not enough. Like, Bell and Conrad have, like, an insane amount. It's Bell and Conrad. Are you kidding? Like, oh, my gosh. They're going to be the death of me, honestly. Like, I'm so done with what they're putting me through this season. And I still have two episodes after this. And thankfully, they are not out yet. I'm happy that they're doing weekly episodes. Usually, I like when everything drops at once. But for this one, I think I would literally die if I had to like witness everything in one sitting. Because like I binge when everything comes out at once. And I, I don't think I could deal with it. Some shows I can. But I think with this specific one, I would actually lose my mind if I had to witness everything at once. Because I have no control to stop watching. Like, I need to finish it on the day it comes out. So, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm petrified. I'm really not ready. Because like, I'm also not ready to see Jer, like, jealous of, like, Belly and Conrad even more. Because it's just, it annoys me. Because we, like, saw, like, him jealous of them at the party. Or not really at the party. It was more at, like, the store. And then, like... What was it? At the party, she saw him and was kind of walking towards him and then saw Conrad behind her and kind of stopped and turned around and he he kind of got jealous and annoyed and walked away. Like, like I get, I get it, but, like, relax. Like, just all their scenes annoyed me. I did, like, like when they all, the three of them went to the store together, I thought that was kind of cool because I kind of, I like seeing, like, them as a trio even though it's kind of awkward because then both of them were jealous at one point while they were there but i thought it was cute i liked seeing that scene the one thing that i absolutely despised about like belly and jerry this episode like the rest of them they were fine i don't like it but they were fine the one thing was the fact that belly and jerry got a taylor swift song like, that is Belly and Conrad's thing, and you're gonna throw a delicate Taylor's version at me out of nowhere and expect me to be okay, especially when it is a Taylor, not Taylor, oh my gosh, a, a Jer and Belly scene. Like, wait, that should have been Belly and Conrad. Like, Be- Taylor Swift is Belly and Conrad's thing, not Jer and Belly. Like, I'm not okay. I'm still not over that for many reasons because it was Belly and Jer, but also because it was Delicate Taylor's version and I couldn't believe I was hearing it and literally almost started crying because Reputation is that bitch and I need Reputation Taylor's version right now. So that was kind of rough. I'm still not over that. If we get another Taylor Swift, Jer, and Belly scene, I don't think I'll live. Because I'll actually get really mad. Because that was... That was Belly and Conrad's things. Like, those songs work so well with them. And then they do that? Like, are, are, are you kidding me? Like, I'm still... I'm not over that. Even though, of course, we did get a Taylor... Bonrad scene this episode. I'm still not over Delicate. Because it was Taylor's version, too. And we never heard it before. And they did that to me. I don't think I'll ever recover from that. Like, I'm still... I'm so mad. It's fine. I will get over it. If they play... What what was I going to say? If they play Enchanted or Haunted in this, like, in this season, or at least in season three, I will get over it. If they do that, I will be perfectly fine with my life, beyond thrilled. So, they need to do that, and then I'll get over it. Delicate play during Jeremiah and bellies scene but now is the part i've been dreading we're gonna talk about belly and conrad because oh my gosh that was rough i was not expecting it to be that bad for me like it was the scenes were so well done and they were so good but they also were so depressing and made me want to die like the way he was jealous of her like and Jer, like, when they were at the store, like, you could tell, like, the way he was looking at her. So, like, if I saw them, I would not think they were broken up. Like, when they were outside the car putting the beer in the trunk, I would not think they were broken up. Like, they looked like they were dating. Like, 
if that's how you're supposed to act with your ex, a lot of these shows are doing it wrong if that's what it's supposed to be like. I'm so used to seeing with like exes like, them acting weird and be like, oh my gosh, like no, like disgusted when they see each other. Like that's what I'm used to. But then they do this. It's just like, I don't know. I'm so conflicted. It's pissing me off. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like they're seen in the store. Like, he was opening up to her and explaining the Aubrey situation, which I'm so happy he, like, talked about it. Like, it made me even more sad because I feel even more bad for him. Like, okay, I was on his, I kind of, okay, I kind of saw both sides at the funeral, and I think I said this during that episode. Like, I saw both sides, but, like, I think they were both kind of, like, wrong. I thought... Belly should not have done that at the funeral. Like, I think I said that. But, like, I get where she's coming from. I get where he's coming from. It was both. But I'm happy they talked about it. And I'm happy she kind of apologized. And he explained it to her. The fact that the reason she was there was because he was having a panic attack. And couldn't, like, breathe. And she, she found him first. But he wished... It was belly, like, oh my gosh, when he said that, I literally wanted to die. Like, they're, they're, they're insane, and they keep hurting me every episode, and I don't think they can hurt me any more than they already have, and then they keep just, they just keep doing it. Like, it was so good, like, the way they were talking, and, like, the way they were looking at each other, too, and then Jared got jealous and kind of ruined it, but, like, it was so, it was so cute, and then, like, the way they were trying to like brighten the mood and he she or not i don't think it was con i don't know was it conrad it might have been belly who put like the stuff on conrad like the sunglasses and the scarf like that was so cute like i like seeing them have fun especially conrad because this season has been rough for him and last season was kind of rough for him too so i'm happy to see him have fun and everything but of course that didn't last because of that damn beach scene and i knew it was coming when we found out the party was this episode i knew it i knew it but i wasn't ready like i was dreading it like when i when they said something about the party it was gonna happen this episode i'm like oh my gosh i literally want to die like i don't want to watch this anymore i want to turn this off and like never go back to it because i didn't want to witness it because i knew it was going to hurt me even the more than the books did and it did for many reasons but one of the big ones was the fact that they played snow on the beach. Which first, it would have worked better if they did snow, if they played snow at the, on the beach. When it was snowing on the beach, I'm still not over it, the fact that they did not do that. But it's fine. At least they played it at one point. But it was so good. Like, when that started, I started crying. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. So they're going to do this scene and play a Taylor Swift song? Like, you can't, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. Like, I hate when they like, do all those... They, like, they do these really depressing scenes and then start playing a song I absolutely, like, adore. Like, in the background, I'm like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to die? I think so. It's just... It was so good, the, like, the way that started. I, but I'm still mad that didn't play. That should have played in the other scene. And then they could have played, like, Invisible String for this. Or something else. I don't know what it work. But... It's fine. At least they played the song. Like, I was going to get really annoyed if they never played Snow on the Beach in the show. Like, I was going to get so annoyed. So, I'm really happy they did that because I was worried they weren't. But, anyways, back to that disaster. I did not know what to do with myself watching that scene. It was just so, like, gut-wrenching. The way, like, Belly was, like, kind of freaking out. Or, like, she was drunk, really drunk and sad he was telling her that he, like, she, well, okay, she already knew this, that she asked, or he asked Jer for her permit, their permission, and, like, like, the way he, she was, like, she was kind of upset, I'm pretty sure, actually, I don't even remember, because I was so out of it, because I was literally dying, like, she, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me, why can't I think? I think she was kind of, she wasn't really upset, she just didn't know, like, that's how much she meant to him, the fact that she, that, he, oh my gosh, why can't I talk, he asked him if it was okay, I think that, like, she wasn't, like, 
mad. She just was, like, confused about it. But the way, like, they were talking and the way his voice was breaking and the way he said, like, I'm not leaving you. And she's like, you already did. What the, what the fuck? What do they want? Do they want me to kill myself? I think so. Because literally, if they didn't, they wouldn't be doing this to me. And when he made me have a mental breakdown literally almost every damn episode. I'm sick of it. It's ruining my life. Like, like the fact that she didn't know how much she meant to him, that hurt me too. It's like, you're joking, right? Like, you could tell by the way that man looked at her. That he was so in love, but the fact she didn't even know was what didn't sit right with me. It was like, you're joking, right? Like, you're actually joking. Like, and his, like, the way when they were on the beach, his voice was like, when she was, I think he was saying, like, I thought you knew, I thought you knew, or something like that. His voice breaking when he was saying that is what got me and got me, like, crying even harder. Like, that hurt me like the way he talks like like or like the way he kind of stutters and like kind of repeats his word like really quietly when he's when he's upset like especially with belly like the way he did it at prom when he started like kind of whispering and like his voice was breaking that was like oh my gosh it's it's awful like i'm terrified for what's gonna come because i know it's gonna be bad and they just ruined my life with this episode. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm actually panicking about next episode. Because, of course, I said this, like, I think I said this before. We don't get any promos. So I'm kind of delusional. And I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't know if the motel thing is this episode or in the finale. I don't know, either one, I will be dying. Because I think I think it might be the finale, because Con... Not Conrad, oh my gosh. Laurel shows up, I think, next episode. And then they take him back or something. I don't know. We're going to have to see. I am excited to see what happens next, because I don't know. Like the, Of course, I don't know. But I'm terrified. I'm not ready. That When that motel scene happens, I'm going to die. Like, I'm not ready for them to put me through that. Like, it was hard enough reading it, but actually seeing it, it's gonna hit even more. Like, I'm so, I'm so nervous. I'm not ready, but I'm so excited too to see like, how they end this season and to see how season three is. Like, I'm probably the most excited I've been like about the show for season three because that, like I said, that book probably was my favorite like season three and not season three the book three was probably my favorite i don't know why but it was i think because it just hit so hard and i wasn't expecting anything and i remember just sitting there like i think it was 20 pages in or 15 and i was sitting there like what the fuck am i reading like oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm just so excited for next episode to see like what happens with laurel and like belly and conrad and of course, Stephen and Taylor. And I also am kind of curious to what happens with Sky and Cam, even though I don't really like them. I want to see how they, like, play out and how everything works out with them. But yeah, I'm excited. So I think that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for listening. I should be on track and ready to go for next week on time. I'm really hoping that works out. Well, something happens. But again, thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you guys soon.